Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Sean K from Heli Direct, and I am bringing you some awesome news. Some awesome news about what? Our torque servos. It's called the T Box. What is a T Box? One minute, I'll show you. This is a T Box. T Box. Well, what does it do? It does a couple of different things. If you own any torque servos, if you've had them, yes, you can still program them. You don't have to buy new servos. These will work with those. Any torque servo we sell on the Heli Direct site, you can use this box to program them. Program 1520 or 760 pulse. You can change that. Also, it doubles the frequency. Exactly. Also, it does centering. You can program center. No more sub trim. Right. You can live program neutral. Plug the servo into this side, the battery into this side. You select if you want to run 15. 20 or 760 pulse you then hit enter locks it in then you go here and you turn this little dial here until you get exactly where you want that servo to be at either neutral or zero you hit enter boom done live programming you don't have to repower it up to see if it's where you wanted it it's where you put it last you got it servo locked in so join me as i show you how to use this product as i'm building a raw 700 it's so awesome so check this out this is a game changer. Most people didn't know that the Torque Servos, the BLS 2208's HLX line is 760 capable, which means if your fly bar unit can read 760 from a cyclic servo, you can use this feature on these servos. Many people didn't know it. It's kind of like a sleeping giant. I love running my servos at 760 because I have a Futaba system. I run the uh, CGY 760R here. Uh, they seem more precise. Um, it's just it's just a feeling and some people say well you can't they can't really tell i can tell i totally can tell when i ran my servos on 1520 then i upgraded them to 760. when you're using this box you want to make sure you do it in a certain order it does not like when you have the battery in and then you plug the servo in make sure you plug the servo in first on this end you'll see negatives on that side so we'll go ahead and plug that in all right no we have uh which one is this i think this is the aileron servo over here all right, now you're gonna plug your battery in over here. It lit up 1520. Well, it's telling me that this servo is currently programmed to 1520. We can change it or we can leave it as, you know, at 1520, it's your choice. But we're gonna switch it to 760. If you hear the uh, servo, it just did a little, you know, they're saying, hey, I get it. Then you wanna press enter. It locks it in, boom, you're in 760 mode. All right. This is so quick, this setup. So what we can do now is we wanna set neutral, all right? We're gonna use our servo guide. Um, let's see. So when you're building a raw, you get this servo guide here to make sure that your servo is completely straight. Now, I put this servo on and kind of got it in the neighborhood, but it doesn't look like I got it in the neighborhood, I'm way off. So what happens is you come over here to the uh, neutral set and you'll notice this arm moving. Can you see that? Right, now it's lined up perfectly there. Let's see, let me go a little bit, yeah, that's perfect. Now, when you have your neutral set on this servo, you simply hit enter, locks it in, that easy. So now you know where this servo is on the horn, it's locked in, when we repower this up, it will return to this neutral setting. You don't have to put any sub trim in your radio, you set the neutral from the servo, all right. So let's do this. Since we have that locked in, we unplug the power here. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Servo still plugged in. We give it power. Let's see. Bump. As you can see, 760 lit up. Why? Because we just locked it in. Now, if you look at the servo here, it returned to where we programmed neutral. Now, the reason why this is so awesome, you're like, whoa, your mind's blown. Absolutely. You didn't know that the servos could do this. I didn't either, but I'm able to use this feature on my 760 now. So now you have a different option of servos that you wanna use on cyclic that can run a 760. The other awesome feature to this is that it's live programming, which means you can literally get this set up, put your swash plate on, your swash leveler, get your you know links, everything perfect, right to zero. And if you feel like, oh man, that servo needs to come down a little bit, you simply turn the dial, turn the dial get it where it's perfect now another reason i like this is because it's very fine so if you turn this thing one little notch it's 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 it's, it's notched so i don't know if you can hear that one little notch it's like very minute changes so you can dial this in perfectly to where you want your zero and neutral to be on your servo it's perfect 
It's simple, it's, it's durable, it's a nice metal case. It just works. This thing presses down. I don't know what that's for yet. That might be another enter, but I'll figure that out later. You're asking when can I get this? They are at the warehouse now. I appreciate you guys uh, checking out the new tea box. And um, yeah, go out and get you some Torque servos. They're amazing.